But our focus just a couple of months ahead of the assembly elections in Maharashtra, swords are once again being drawn in the border dispute with Karnataka. In its mouthpiece, Samna, Shiv Sena accused Karnataka police of removing a Maharashtra Rajya plaque from one of the villages in Yellur. Congress too has slammed the incident, claiming Maharashtrans were targeted in the border areas of Karnataka. It all started yesterday with clashes breaking out in Yellow region of Belgaum on when a crowd assembled at a place from where a Maharashtra state signboard was being removed. The crowd turned violent. Police had to be called in. Stones were pelted at the police which resorted to large charge. Section 144 has been imposed in the area till Tuesday. Samna, the Shiv Sena mouthpiece, was first off the block today morning, accusing Kannadas of targeting Maharashtrian symbols. It said the Karnataka government's age-old anti-Maharashtra stand continues, claiming that women were beaten up and houses were destroyed. The editorial described the plaque was Belgam's Marathi pride. Meanwhile, the Congress too has joined this entire controversy. Mumbai Bureau Chief Sahil Joshi joins me on the phone line. Also joining me live from Mumbai is our correspondent Amrita. Joining us on the phone line is Deputy Editor South Rohini Swami from Bangalore. Sahil, first up, let me come to you. With just three months remaining for the crucial Maharashtra Assembly elections, the Shiv Sena reigniting the debate over the Belgaum border dispute? Uh, very good. Uh, on the new issue, even earlier we had seen that uh, whenever there were uh, local body elections in Belgaum, Lipani and the adjacent areas of Maharashtra. And uh, this is a long dispute issue between Maharashtra and Karnataka that uh, some villages uh, which uh, which had been given to Karnataka after uh, um, uh, 1960. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Maharashtra has always claimed those villages because they think that uh, it is uh, uh, Marathi populated areas and uh, those areas should have been in Maharashtra. So even uh, before when uh, BJP was in power in Karnataka, even that time when um, the, the government held uh, uh, assembly uh, session in Belga, even that time Shiv Sena had taken a very violent stand against uh, Karnataka uh, government's decision. So even this time, uh, the issue has been picked up by Shiv Sena's uh, local uh, MLA and uh, party as a whole. Even today, uh, uh, Uttar Thakri has written an editorial in Shiv Sena's mouthpiece Samna regarding that. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, it looks like that Shiv Sena uh, has decided to pick up any issue which, which comes forward uh, with respect to the Marathi pride or uh, Maharashtra, um, especially because of the assembly elections. And uh, uh, now there is a Congress government, so it is a good opportunity for Shiv Sena yes. to, uh, to, to, uh, to counter the Congress government's Maharashtra government claim that they are doing enough to... Uh, to put a claim on Belgaum, Nipani and other issues. Yes, Sahil, so stay with me on the phone line. I also have Rohini joining me on the phone line from Bangalore. Rohini, Belgaum tense as we speak. What security measures have been put in place? Like we know as of now that uh, the, the security measures in terms of Section 144 has been imposed there. Mm -hmm. Law and order as of now, as the uh, Karnataka state government is saying, is under control. The assembly is in session in Karnataka and so the Home Minister also says that things are being blown out of proportion but yes, uh, things are under control there. We've seen how violence has erupted even a couple of days ago when uh, the, when, um, pa uh, when buses were burned down, especially Karnataka buses were damaged also. We've seen how Lati Chaj has taken place yesterday also. But now the Home Minister says that... Um, like Sahil was just saying, it's a long-standing problem and this issue is as of now under control. It's just a few people who are trying to make a mountain of a molehill. But um, uh, as of now, Belga stands within Karnataka and the law and order in the state is under control. Do stay with me, Rohini and Sahil. Also joining us live is Amrita. Amrita, what's also interesting is how the Congress has also latched on to this controversy. Yes, Sahil Shah said that because of the assembly elections, now Shiv Sena wants to target Congress because Congress is ruling party in Karnataka. But in uh, uh, editorial of Samna, Shiv Sena has clearly taken a stand and said that this is the act of Karnataka police is as similar to the act of Hafiz Said and this is equal to the terrorism. And we cannot tolerate this. If in a moment... We, uh, if there are Karna there is Karnataka Bhavan in Mumbai, and if we re if we respect all the people from Karnataka, they then also they also respect Marathi people in Karnataka. And now Cong uh, Congress is being targeted by Shiv Sena because this is the old issue. Uh, this is not the new issue. And as assembly elections are coming out, this will become a major issue between 
Congress uh, and Shiv Sena because uh, Shiv Sena is saying that uh, the government from Maharashtra is not doing anything and now if anybody can do it then that is PM Narendra Modi and we will definitely ask him to do something and he will bring yes. the uh, solution for this entire issue. So basically now this was always a political issue but now this is because of the assembly elections are coming this has a particular turn to it. Back to you. All right, Amrita Sahil and Rohini, thank you so much for bringing us the latest and adding perspective to that developing story.